Hey coaches, what's going on? Coach Tim here with another video and I got a good one for you today. Hopefully I can help you guys raise some money for your programs. This is something that I consider myself pretty good at doing and uh, I'm going to show you everything that I have done to raise uh, money for my program. And uh, before we get into it, guys, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit that like button. This will allow that algorithm on YouTube to just let them know that you guys are interested in my content. So um, without further ado, let's get to it. So here's the thing, guys. I, I'm going to talk to you about how to raise $20,000 plus for your organization, guys. I know some of you guys may not need that much money, but it's. I think this is very um, good information to help you raise whatever your goal is, raise a significant amount of money. I'm in the business of helping you guys have a quality program, okay? Have the resources you need to make sure your kids are taken care of, your parents are happy, and they trust you with their kids, all right? So one of the first things that I do, and I'm actually currently doing right now, is I'm doing a social media fundraiser, okay, guys? This is one of the best ways to raise money fast. Um, you know, and I use, per personally, I use Facebook um, fundraiser to uh, raise funds. Um, I know there's other uh, options out there like GoFundMe, for example, but I use that platform because I'm connected to a lot of business owners. For, for you guys don't know, I'm a business owner. I'm connected to other business owners. I'm connected to people who used to have their kids in my program. I'm connected to um, a plethora of people who have supported me throughout the year. So doing a social media fundraiser is a great way to raise money, okay, guys? Right now, I'm trying to raise $5,000 for my program, okay? That $5,000 is going to support all of our spirit packs. It's going to support food at our game concessions. It's going to support equipment, you know, for kids who may need the equipment. So, you know, like that's my social media fundraiser. But guess what? I don't stop there. So I got a $5,000 goal um, to raise um, funds on social media. Now let's get to local business sponsors, guys. This is a huge one, okay? Um, one thing that I like to do for my program is I like to write a proposal out and I like to give our local businesses in our area the opportunity to sponsor our team, okay? Uh, one thing I like to do, I like to give them the option to um, support us at the $500 range, the $1,000 range, the $2,500 range, and the $5,000 range, okay, guys? Again, when it comes down to small funds and things of that nature, I really don't aim for that. I aim for the bigger dollars because these companies have the money to uh, donate. They want to donate it because they wanted to write, they want to write it off in taxes. So, you know, I always ask for a significant amount because this money helps secure our programs for years to come. So that's something that um, you need to consider doing, making a proposal, writing down all the local businesses. I would say like a list of about 20 to 50 starting off of businesses that you think may be interested and like get to emailing them, find out their numbers, find out their um their email addresses, get to emailing these people, get to giving phone calls, uh, get to going and, and, and talking to these people face to face if they're you know not locked down due, due to the pandemic. Either way, either method you use, use this to make money. So my budget for this, I'm trying to raise $10,000 through local sponsors in my program. So we already up to 15K, right? So we, we already trying to raise $5,000 online. Then we're trying to raise $10,000 through our business sponsors. Now, another great option, guys, and you probably already seen uh, the, the thumbnail, uh, is that back in three years, back three years ago, I was awarded with a $35,000 grant through ESP in the state form. Now, I must admit that I did not see that award coming. You know, uh, somebody seen me doing some work in the community and they nominated me for this grant, and I won the grant for my work in the community, one of our poorest communities um, in my local area. And um, I was awarded uh, this particular grant. And so, you know, like, 
if you go online, you'll be able to pull up so many grants that companies are just trying to just give to organizations like yours, sports organizations. Check out Nike.com, Adidas.com. They're looking for people just like you guys um, to be able to give their money to. So look that up. All right, and so next, and this is more of what you guys are used to, which is team activities like, you know, car washes, uh, raffle tickets, you know, different things. These things work. That's why they, we still do it, right? Those things still work. I personally don't like doing them, to be honest with you, because I like to raise money through these other three ways. However, the good thing about these activities, if you're just trying to raise, let's say $200, $500, $1,000, you know, these methods right here are still tried and true. So don't be afraid to use car washes. And um, if you got a really good program with a lot of moms, you can do all kind of like uh, bake sales and stuff like that to be able to raise money too. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about on this video is community events and this kind of goes into the bake sale idea but you can always rent out a restaurant and invite different business owners to come in and try to do like a community fundraiser that's another way to raise funds now i must admit i never did a community fundraiser but i do um know fellow coaches who have done it and have raised a lot of money um for their program so you know that's not my style my style is more of the social media and local business sponsor style. Um, however, you know, if you got some pool in the community, host a community event and raise this money, guys. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I wanted to give you some ideas of what you can do to raise money for your program. And listen, don't wait last minute. Guys, this is the perfect time to start raising money for your program. Okay. Don't don't wait too long. Don't allow yourself to procrastinate because you're giving yourself a strategic advantage in your community when you are raising money. Okay, guys? So that's it for this video, guys. Again, if you like it, please uh, hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to download my, my free Beast Formation playbook, guys. That's free to you. Just uh, go in the description box and um, for further instructions, guys. All right? And again, um, another thing, if you got ideas, please share them in the comments, guys. I want to learn what you do. Let me know what you do to raise money for your program. I'm really intrigued to know. So again, guys, this is Coach Tim coming at you. And remember to be great and have fun. Peace.